Today we are in Pennsylvania Amish country and we are in Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania. We are staying tonight in the Bird in Hand Family Inn. We're gonna show you our room and take you around this whole complex and show you what they have to offer. In case when you're in this area, you might wanna stay here. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's get started with our tour of the Bird in Hand Family Inn. Look at the view of the countryside out here. This is located on Old Philadelphia Pike. First thing I noticed though, when you pull in, are these flowers. They have a beautiful variety of different flowers with the rocks and the water coming over. It's just so soothing, isn't it? It is. That little footbridge over there, that makes a nice place for a picture. So when you come in, you're gonna to come to this building. And this is where you check in. So we're gonna head back over that way, walk all the way around and show you everything they have and end up over here at the Bird in Hand Family Restaurant and Smorgasbord. We're in the front in a standard room, two double beds. These are the cheapest rooms you can get here. This room was $107 for a Sunday and Monday night in August. They have better rooms here and they have a suite. I think it's like a uh, schoolhouse. First thing I noticed when I walk in here very cold, so the air conditioning definitely works. It smells very clean too. Let's do a quick tour of this place because there's a lot of stuff outside we have to go over. We have a tennis court, a basketball court, two indoor pools and an outside pool, and a jacuzzi. A lot of stuff, we better get started then. We have a mirror full length, as soon as you walk in to the left, dresser with your TV, Microwave, let's do the quick check. Clean, never use it. About three drawers to put your stuff in. Ice bucket, and we already checked this. Cold, I know people have asked us before about some of them having freezers in it. We don't run into too many that have a freezer in it. And a desk and a pretty bright light beside it. That way you can look at all your brochures and see what you wanna see up in Amish country. There's adjoining door, not one of our favorites. Plenty of hangers to use. Dehumidifier, and that thing is kicking out some cold air. Oh, that's pretty bright back there. Big enough sink. Hair dryer, iron, coffee machine, and some coffee. I told you outside, this is one of the cheaper rooms at $107, we just have double beds. They're firm, I already checked the beds. The white sheets and the white comforter, I always like that because you can see if there's any stains and if it's clean, two really nice pictures. I like the farmland picture. And we were down that road today, North Cherry Lane. And your telephone, alarm clock, one USB, a couple places to plug your stuff in with. And there's a few chairs next to the window. They have a few books telling you what you can do in the area, places to eat. But look at the corn maze. This is free. It is across the street. But look at that hot air balloon maze and the Amish buggy. Think we could get out of that one? We might have to try that. And the last thing we need to show you is the bathroom. Let's go take a look. 
There's your bathroom. It's not overly big, but it's big enough for us. Plenty of towels in there. There's your heat lamp, has a fan. Shower and tub combo. Looks pretty clean. So that's about it. The only comment I have about this probably would be the carpet. Carpet's not in very many rooms anymore, but it looks pretty clean. It does look very clean. And like I said in the beginning, it smells clean. It does smell clean. So there is your basic room here. They have some nice ones. You can look it up on their website if you want to get fancier with suites. We don't need anything fancy. We're never in the room. We just wanted to show you where you could stay at the cheapest that they have. Now, I think this is the main suite here. It's like a schoolhouse. There's your bell. I think there's a chalkboard and everything inside there. That might be pretty cool to stay at sometime. There are 125 rooms in this place. So we're gonna head back in this corner is where we're gonna start. Another thing you can do here in the evening is pull up one of these chairs or loungers over there and just sit here and watch the Amish buggies go by or enjoy the countryside. Plus, directly across there, where Bobby's pointing at, is where the hot air balloon rides are at. So that would be neat to see. Another benefit of staying here. So our room is down on that end. So we're gonna cut through this corner. Looks like they have ice and vending machines back here. Yep, there they are. Decent selection of drinks. I think they were 225. And they have a microwave in here. Not sure why, because there's one in your room. Let's head out back. We have a nice place that you can set at nighttime, turn on the fire pit. Wouldn't need it tonight though. No. It's really hot. It's pretty big back in here. I can hear people playing in the pool. Fire pit by reservation only. Please see front desk. The gathering place. So this thing is reserved from 6 to 10 tonight. It says to reserve this space, contact the front desk. Firewood and s'more kits available for sale. No alcoholic beverages. Well, it's not gas. There's a lot of places to sit. I just figured anybody could come out here. Maybe not. And behind me is the rest of the complex. I think there's three floors in here. Go to their website and see all the different rooms. And back here is the rest of the parking lot. Plenty of places to park. And some more beautiful flowers. So we're gonna head in this building and see if we can find the laundry. Guest laundry and vending area. Looks like it's a dollar fifty for the dryer, dollar seventy five on the washing machine. There's your snuggle and Clorox and all more for a dollar fifty. Another vending machine and a microwave. Head down this hall, pools, game room, and fitness center. Let's go. Oh, what's his sign say? Quiet time between 10 p.m. and 8. We've been in hotels where people have played the TV so loud at 4 o'clock in the morning you can't even sleep. What we got here? Eagle Conference Room. 
you can have your events here. No food or drinks in the game room. Please dry off before entering. There are your pool hours. Let's take a look at the game room and the fitness center. Claw machines, Fast and the Furious. Oh, got some bubble gum machines in here. Here's your fitness room. Well, you have a treadmill, elliptical, and a bike. Now we're gonna take a look at the pool. We didn't show it to you earlier because there were so many people in there. So I came back early the next morning and filmed this. Well, it starts off at this end around six feet. Looks like it goes just right out of the water and just walk into it. Plenty of spots to sit out here and relax. There you go. See, just walk right down in it. It's nice for smaller children. Don't have to worry about it being too deep for them. Very warm in here. Have this jacuzzi. Adult supervision required for children six and over. Children under six are not allowed in there. Then they have two indoor pools. They have this one. It goes up to six feet. A bunch more seating. And another one over there. We'll go see that here in just one second. Back here's the other pool. Three to six feet. And you have the restrooms right next to the pool. You have two pools inside, one outside, and a jacuzzi. And if swimming's not your thing, Right above those chairs on that top level is a pool table and a ping pong table. Now you cannot bring any alcoholic beverages in these areas or no smoking or vaping here. And there's no lifeguard on duty. Also here, they have a pool attendant that gives you the towels that you need and it even posts how warm the pool's temperatures are. After leaving the pool, we came to the back of the building and we're headed over this way to show you the tennis courts and basketball courts. And it looks like they have a outdoor place for the kids to play. And right on the other side of that is a miniature golf course called Water's Edge. Bobby and I have played that before. When you stay here, they give you a coupon, buy one, get one free. Let's go take a look at the tennis courts. Let's stop off at this playground first. And that looks pretty massive. Kids would like that. Plus, they have this whole area they can just run around and play in. A lot of slides and pretty good size slides. Picnic tables, place to sit and watch the kids. Probably one of the biggest play areas I've seen at a hotel for kids. And there's two tennis courts. And you can get the supplies to play this stuff with at the front desk. In case you forget tennis racket and tennis balls, they'll loan them to you. That's a pretty nice basketball court. I'm assuming they have basketballs at the front desk too. But I could be wrong. I think she told me that when we checked in. And behind the tennis courts is a petting zoo. Let's go up here and see what that's all about. 
Man, you wouldn't even have to leave this place for a whole day. There's so much stuff to do here. Picnic areas over there. It says, help us keep our animals healthy. Please only use food from the machines to feed our animals. Small bags of food are also available at the Water's Edge Miniature Golf. Here's where you get your food to feed the animals. Quarters only. A few chickens hiding underneath this bridge. Something more for the kids to do. After leaving the petting zoo, you can head down here and play your miniature golf here at Water's Edge. Hole number one. Have a meal out there. And you can get ice cream. You want something to cool off with back here. Bobby and I have played this. We said that earlier. We had a good time. We used the two for one deal to play it. So it is $10 to play miniature golf if you don't have the coupon for two for one. $8 for children, six to 12. $8 for senior citizens. You can play both courses, because there's one there and one on that side, for $4 more, and then when you're done, get you some ice cream. Now let's head back over to the hotel. Now before I forget, this stop right here, farmland tour pickup, you get a two hour tour of the Amish farmlands for free here. You just have to reserve them as soon as you get here. Bobby and I have also done that, and that's pretty interesting. I mean, most places up here, you're going to pay for that. I'll take you back through the Amish countryside. I think it's like at 8.45 and 11 o'clock when they pick up, but it is not held on a Sunday. Now, if you're staying back in the back part of this inn, the smorgasbord is just right here in front of it. Here is your main entrance to the Bird in Hand Family Restaurant and Smorgasbord. Here are the hours. Tuesday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Closed Sunday and Monday. And in the back of this, there's a stage that has different plays you can go see. Just have to check the website to see what is playing when you are here. If you stay here, you get a discount on them. Like I was telling you up front, you come back here to the back, here's your play entrance. Here's what's playing. The home game, August to October, Ryan and Friends, Never Speechless, April to October. We have never gone to one of them. We're going to have to make a point to check one of those out sometime. So now we're back up to the front of the hotel. It's very hot out here. So we're gonna sit down and relax and get something to drink. They were nice enough to let us see the schoolhouse suite. So we have this desk, but look at this map, and behind it is a chalkboard. Something I forgot to say earlier, these rooms are furnished with Amish-made, handcrafted furniture. Tall ceilings, look at this in the corner. There's a remote to turn that on. Look at this sink right here. I like these kind of sinks. The room has two queen beds and is 450 square feet and sleeps up to five people.
double sink in this one. Let me look in this bathroom. It's probably the same as ours. Same type of bathroom. Just a little fancier. And you have a closet with a safe. And there's your iron. This is a gas stove that adds an extra touch. And right now, if you were staying in this room on Sunday night, it would be about $189. Yeah. That's not too bad in August and maybe at the highest, $259. Yeah, it's not right. Shut the lights off. We're gonna head out. This nice lady let us come in and see it. Inside the office is where you will come in and register. They will give you some popcorn or a candy bar. That's what they're doing right now. One time we came in, they gave us like a small loaf of bread. Few souvenirs in here. It's really pretty in here too. There's a book on the bird in hand story. I know Bobby likes this one. Too. Welcome fall. They're all really pretty. Got you an area with all your brochures. You can make you some coffee. Bobby's making a cup right now. Now, one thing before I forget, you do not get a breakfast at this place. Right next door is a all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. So you can go over there. So there's no continental breakfast here. Well, we just got home from Amish country after staying a few nights at the Bird in Hand Family Inn. What did you think about it? There's a lot of great benefits to staying at this hotel. They had the basketball court, the area for the kids to play, tennis courts, the petting zoo. They give you a coupon to go to the miniature golf. Buy one, get one free. It's right around the a hotel that you can just walk to. They had the outside and two indoor pools. One of the benefits of staying here also that we didn't touch on in this video is directly across the street is the Bird in Hand Bakery. If you haven't seen our video on that, check it out. I'll link it up in the description on this one. And the Farmer's Market is right next door. It's open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with plenty of Amish food and baked goods and just everything you can think of is in there. And something I enjoyed doing was just sitting out front and listening to the Amish buggies go by in the evening. They do not have a breakfast. I'm going to remind you that again, but you have the big smorgasbord next door. Plenty of things to do for the kids. Just a great location. Decent price. A few moments later. And before we end this video, something else we have to tell you about is do not forget to take the Amish bus tour. It's a two-hour tour, and it is free. Places up here charge you quite a bit to do that. Make sure you maybe catch a play while you're here. And don't forget to stay in that schoolhouse suite. That'd be a great place for a family. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B, have, have left the building. building.